Well, if it's Friday, it's time for Music Makers on Africa 54. Today we present to you a famous Malian traditional song, Mali Sadio, featuring the later Mangala Kamara and Grammy Award winner, Tumani Jabate. Music Time in Africa host Heather Maxwell joins us now live uh, to tell us a little more about this. Just yes. to mention a bit before we can play the song, what Mali Sadio is all sure. about. Sure, Mali Sadio is um, it's a legend and it's also a love song. There are several versions because it, it, it is one of those traditional songs that's been around for hundreds of years, mm -hmm. sung by griots. Oh, but the love story is between Sajo, a girl, and an, a, a hippopotamus. Whoa. Uh -huh. so that's, and you know. the hippopotamus protects her. They grow up together. She doesn't ever marry. She's in love, but a jealous rival kills the hippo. Oh. And shortly thereafter, she kills herself. Oh, before we get it's so sad, sad let's en but try to enjoy this song. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> Mali Sadio, let's play this. Mali Sadio, Dali Mambeti. Sentimental song, yeah. It is, it and you can feel it in the music. Yeah. It's just a simple kora. That kora is the the yeah. instrument played by Tumani Jabati. Tumani Jabati, the guy we see singing. Unfortunately, is the one who died. Yes, he passed yeah. away in two thousand ten. Yeah. Yes, but he's but considered it, one of the most beautiful voices in Mali. I think he is. Yes, his, his yeah. voice is gorgeous. Okay. And now talking about death, actually, uh, you know. Uh, just today, we get the reports: blues right legend BB King dies at age. 89. Yes. This was another great one. A great one. Mm -hmm. King of the blues, mm -hmm. they called him. Yeah. Uh, we're really sad about the loss. Yeah. Of and uh, it, it didn't just play blues, but it, br it brought blues from the margins to the mainstream. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He made it popular. He influenced many other people, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yeah. Some of those well-known are uh, like, you know, people of other genres actually, even rock stars, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, people like um, Eric Clapton, they say they've been influenced a lot by, uh, by him, uh, yes. even Sheryl Crow, John Mayer, and uh, I think it's a great loss to the entire world. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And B.B. King also was in, in 1976 or 74, he was in Africa. Yes. Performing there for the uh, the rumble in the jungle. Rumble in the jungle. Yeah. Congo. So, yeah. Yes. So he's uh, he's not uh, just an American, but he's uh, I think was a child of the world, yeah, right. and straddled uh, two, I think uh, centuries. Mm -hmm. It was from the previous century to this century and millennium, mm -hmm. and he did quite a, a lot in uh, not only entertaining but uh, influencing people positively. And his music will live on. It we'll will. all enjoy this. Yeah. It will. Thanks a lot, Heather, for sharing this with us too. Well, uh, what another fantastic music makers segment. Now to learn more about uh, the talented Heather Maxwell herself and our VOA show Music Time in Africa, visit Facebook and type in the keywords Heather Maxwell and you can see what time her radio program can be heard in your area and get more information about some of our featured artists.